find Kimberly Berg here in a Rebel Fit Club. I did a free live online spring into action seminar where the topic was how to prevent back pain and injury when you're working in your garden. We reviewed different stretches, tips for setting up your garden, and how to do a post stretch. So if you missed this great seminar, I have divided it into little chunkable bits to bring to you in my blog. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and we'll make sure you get it weekly. So I am going to turn it over to these little chunkable bits. Stay tuned and here they are. Let's go ahead and start talking about our garden. So we're gonna go out, I'm gonna do some kneeling stuff first and give you some tips for kneeling. And then we're gonna go to some standing exercises also. I am going to grab kneelers. These things are great. You could get them at the dollar store or anywhere else. You can take an old pillow, you can take anything, or you can have knee pads on and they will protect your knees from, you know, getting bunged up. But if your knees are more comfortable kneeling, you're less likely to go into some other weird position because your knees hurt. But there's also these little low garden chairs, um, scooters, all sorts of ergonomic things for gardeners. So make sure and check out things if you're having difficulty kneeling down. So I'm just gonna put these two little pads here. Actually, I'm gonna go grab my garden tool. You can see my garden's a mess. It's got ivy in it and we have to kind of work. One of the things that I love is to make sure that I can only use one of these today because of my hand brace, but make sure you have some really good gloves with non-stick, non-slip rather. So they'll have like a rubbery surface. That way you don't have to grab your the gardening tool so hard because it gives you a little grip on here and they're also waterproof. So if you are going to be gardening, one of the things with this, Woodworking, crafts, it doesn't matter what it is. You have to have your project right in front of you. And I've done it myself. I know everybody has. You get working and there's something ahead of you and you wanna reach or you're gonna reach over here. Now you can see that's a lot for my back to take. I'm reaching way too far. So you want to have your garden set up so you can get all the way around it and you're not especially pulling. Pulling weeds, pulling up and using your body weight is how people really hurt their backs. So you wanna make sure and have really good tools, um, get help if you don't, if you can't do it without hurting yourself, make sure you get help. But, I mean, sometimes weeds are way down there with a the long root. So make sure that you have a tool that you can get down and get those up or the um, may want to water down the soil so it isn't as hard to pull things up. But the last thing you want to do is be reaching over here and back like this. Okay, so keep your workspace manageable. Always have it in front of you. There are other tools that are really lightweight, there's this little rake that um, has an extra long kind of an ergonomic handle on it that helps just kind of investigate. If your tools happen to be slipping out of your hand because your grip, you can wrap things around. You can even wrap rubber bands around something to make it more grippy, but the gloves really help with that. Now, say that you've been working down here for Oh, 20 minutes. And I would set a timer because 20 minutes can go really fast. You have to take stretch breaks. And I know that, I know that's hard when you're trying to get stuff done. But if you go too fast, too long, you're gonna get hurt. And then you're not gonna get out there the next day because your back's gonna be bad. And, the, and hurting your back can lay you up for weeks, months. So it's better to set that timer and go back and do your chair stretches. Make sure that you do plenty of this pumping. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button and go to our website at rebelfitclub.com where you can fill out a questionnaire, tell me a little bit about yourself and your symptoms. I'd be happy to get back to you and tell you how exercise can help. So always remember, go forth and conquer.